International Workers' Day, also known as a Labor Day or Workers' Day in some countries, and often referred to as May Day, is a celebration of laborers and the working classes that's promoted by international labor movement, which occurs every year on May 1st. Uh, actually, I'm so happy to receive this uh, award. It's an honor and a pleasure. And uh, I would like also to thank um, uh, the CEO of the bank and the chairman and uh, all the heads of the departments for all their support that they have um, uh, uh, provided to all the staff uh, of TFH Financial Group. The General Federation of Bahrain Trade Unions honored workers on the occasion of the International Labor Day at the Crown Plaza Hotel. His Excellency Mr. Jamil Ahmedan, Minister of Labor and Social Development, and Khalid Rashid Azayani, first Vice Chairman of BCCI, presented awards to the most deserving employees in different sectors.
Sheikh Alul wa Al Khalifa self taught painter who has never had any formal instruction in art. She earned a BA from Boston University in literature, which helped her form her outlook on creative pursuits as a whole. She works primarily with oil paints, and her paintings are characterized by their bold and vibrant colors. She creates movement in her works achieved through her texture brush strokes and the manipulation of the paint on her canvas. Her artistic interests were cultivated by a childhood where was encouraged to appreciate art in all its forms. Sheikh Alul Wa Al Khalifa has exhibited locally in Bahrain as well as regionally and internationally in Dubai, London, New York, and Miami. I started painting in 2014. I had no prior um, formal education in art. Um, I never envisioned myself as, as a painter at all. I studied literature at uh, Boston University and um, I had actually a, a, a personal uh, loss um, in my family and it was very hard for me. Uh, and my daughter uh, said that uh, we're going to paint on the balcony so I didn't want to say no or, you know, make her feel like, you know, I didn't want to do it. So I said, okay. So we basically went and got canvases from Al Anwar and uh, paint from Al Anwar. And because um, I thought, you know, we'll just do this and then I'll throw it away. Uh, but uh, I was surprised that, you know, hours and hours went by in a flash. And I, I was actually enjoying, you know, what I was doing, not thinking about any sadness or any kind of... Uh, so it was very therapeutic and then, you know, hours went by and then the next day hours went by. So the days just sort of melted and um, I got better canvases, better paint and just started painting and I would just paint and not think about anything and just, you know, started painting and, and try this and try that. It really did take my mind off of things. Um, but I, I didn't show anybody and then people saw them and they liked them and um, I was surprised that they did. and. You know, many people who I respected actually artistically told me that they were good and that's how it, you know, how it started and then all of it is, all, everything else is luck, you know. I met uh, Kanika Sabarwal, uh, who is, um, who, who does Art Bob, um, uh, she's the director of the, of the fair and, and she um, was the one who selected my paintings for the first um, showing in, uh, in London the Victoria and Albert Museum, which for me, just having started painting, you know, suddenly I find myself in the Victoria and Albert Museum was, was crazy. Um, and uh, so that was, you know, that was luck. Before that, I met, um, I went to show in uh, Dubai um, at the World Art uh, Fair in Dubai, and I met a, um, a gallery called Gregoire Vogelsang, who is a Belgian gallerist. And he wanted, he took me to New York. He wanted to take my paintings to New York. So that was also a lucky, you know, a lucky um, meeting. So I think it's, it's all about you starting and then يعني, Rabbi Al-Alameen puts you on the right direction and, and helps you meet the right people. I'm inspired by many things. I could be inspired by, you know, a scene that I see, a color, um, a song, um, a feeling, a sentiment, anything. It's just I don't try to think too much about something that when I start to paint, I stand in front of the canvas and paint. Things. My inspiration to start painting actually um, was my father. Um, he, he passed away when I was very young. I was 11, but he, um, loved to sketch and he would he was a minister of education and he would sketch all the cabinet ministers that were in the cabinet and, and you know he'd sketch on all his um, uh, you know 
pro official papers and he would be sketching all the time and he, actually in this house he had um, a room upstairs that he meant to, to have as a painting room but uh, sadly uh, he, he was taken before he could do that but he took the time he sat me down he he helped me sketch uh, flowers showed me perception showed me um, you know depth and, and all of that and I think that's when and he made such a big fuss about all my childhood paintings and everything he gave me the confidence to explore my creativity so he is my biggest inspiration um, no reason it's it's um, I'm starting with women I will move to men I'll move on to other things I'm not uh, painting women for any particular reason um, I want to create an emotion and a feeling in my paintings and maybe because I am a woman that I'm just naturally gravitating towards uh, you know that but I, I plan to to paint you know other figurative works and not just women. My first one was as I said in, in Dubai it was an art fair there uh, affordable art fair and um, it was I just started painting and I thought you know um, let me see if they will accept um, my work. Um, it was a, you know, you, it was a, a place where an artist takes the booth uh, and, and ex exhibits their work, but they, there is a selection process. So I sent my works, and they liked my works, which was also was shocking, but interesting. So I, I went, and um, that's where I met uh, Gregoire Vogelsang from the Vogelsang Gallery, and um, he did. Uh, he took me to the um, Art Winwood, which is. Um, an art uh, show that happens in Miami and also the New York Art Fair which is in New York um, and then through Art Bob um, we did of course all the Art Bobs here in Bahrain I participate with them and I really believe in what they're doing um, as a platform for Bahraini artists it's very important for me to support them and to to be you know um, with them it's, it's, a, it's a cause that I hold near and dear to my heart through them, we went to the Victorian Albert Museum. We went to um, St. James Palace. We exhibited there in London, and we were in the Saatchi uh, Gallery recently um, and through, uh, for a Bahrain Art Week. We also went to the India Art Fair, exhibited there, and we exhibited in Delhi twice. Um, through Art Bob, uh, through the curator uh, of Art Bob, uh, Janet Radi, um, um, I was approached to participate in an exhibition called I Am, which is an international exhibition of Middle Eastern artists, women artists, that traveled um, Jordan, Europe, and mostly the United States. It was um, created by a group called Caravan, and the, the mission of this exhibition is um, to uh, foster understanding between the East and the West. And it was basically, uh, you know, just just to, to, to make the West see what the East has to offer and what Middle Eastern women have to, have to offer, and to dispel any sort of misconceptions and, and um, prejudices that you know they have. Um, and uh, it's still touring, and um, I, I was lucky enough to go and speak uh, there on, on their panels in New York. I'm sorry, in uh, Washington D.C. and in London. Um, at the Middle Eastern Institute in Washington, D.C. And now I'm going to go to Nashville and to speak as well at the Vanderbilt University. So I'm very excited about that as well. And I'm, I also believe in, in their mission. These are from my Dao series. Um, they are a nod to our Bahraini traditions. I wanted to do something that was uh, you know, Bahraini, but without being very sort of on the nose with, with it. So um, I was very inspired by the Daos and by how they are a part of our history. But I like the skeleton of the Dao and how um, it could be like an abstract, like different angles of the skeleton could be an abstract painting in itself. So I wanted it to be sort of, um, um, you know, a, a real painting and uh, an abstract painting uh, inspired by by a, like a realistic uh, inspiration. So this is, I have several paintings of these. Um, they're called the Dao series. I wanted to have like an aged effect um, for the wood and I wanted it to have depth 
and um, sort of to play with perception um, with these works. So this is um, my Dow series. What I, what I hope if somebody you know, hears or s learns about me and my journey is to see that, first of all, I started very late. You know, I was in my 40s when I started painting. So you, know, you can start whenever. Uh, you know, there's no time limit for, for what will end up being something that, that becomes your passion. And you don't need formal training in that, in that uh, area. You, know, you can just try and see and if I can inspire somebody to to try their uh, to try and, and see what, what, what something or, or, or a direction will take them then then that would be amazing. Oh, 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 oh,